Hi everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my haul for the month of August. And I'm firstly going to show you the things that I bought, which actually wasn't a lot this month, um, because I was very kindly gifted quite a few items as well. So um, what I'm trying to do as well is just be more thoughtful and mindful of what I'm buying, because obviously I'm very lucky that I have a job so I'm able to get things for myself but um, especially as you know we're running up to the Christmas period um, it's probably a bit too early to say that but um, obviously I'm putting money aside for presents and that sort of thing as well so um, I probably won't be buying as much over the next few months. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is uh, my Tegal sharpener. So um, I purchased this earlier this month because the sharpeners that I've been using for the longest time are the Tegal sharpeners and I really like them but they dull very quickly. I find myself having to replace them quite a lot. This must be my third or fourth now. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it must be my third or fourth and it's great especially for travel but I wanted to try something else and see how it worked and I was watching lots of reviews I watched Corey at Colourfully Optimistics um, video I watched um, Pamela's from uh, Pamela's Passion for Pencils and it seemed like a really good option so it was about £9 on Amazon UK it came in this box here um with the information um information and things like that i have no idea what this is for if you know please let me know but um it didn't seem like i needed it um but this is the sharpener as you can see i've already been using it and i really like it a couple of things if you haven't used it before um if you don't pull this out it won't sharpen properly um and when you start sharpening it um gradually moves in so it is really good if I just show actually if I show you with a pencil that I have so this is a Prismacolor one it's pretty sharp already but you just put it in like that and sharpen until it's not going anymore and you can see there's still a bit of a gap there and then this is what it ends up looking like now I've uh, put it at a setting which works for me you can change it here to get the type of um, tip that you want on the pencil but this one's perfect for me because it doesn't eat up too much of the pencil but it's also really nice and sharp so I'd highly recommend this it fits all of your pencils because when you press it here I'm not sure if this is going to focus it can fit any type of pencil so your square brute funas will work in there it's brilliant so I've really been enjoying testing that out and I think it's a really, really good sharpener. Obviously not ideal for travel, but it's great to have when you're actually, you know, at your desk or wherever you colour. So this one will probably stay more of kind of a travel sharpener for me. Um, I also picked these up. These were on sale at a lovely uh, little pop-up craft shop um, near us and um this is cambridge imprint but they were selling them yeah for more than half price it was a ridiculous price we were so surprised and we saw them and we were thinking, oh my gosh and i don't even think they have them on the website so these are just really cute thank you cards and i mean they are quite small i don't know where they would you know necessarily come in handy because i i'm always use bigger cards for thank you cards but you know they're great if you just want to do a small note maybe if you're giving someone a present and you, you just want to write a, a quick note on there but they're so gorgeous so we've got this kind of dusky pink and kind of a duck egg teal blue and they're gorgeous my mum also got some of those um I can't remember whether uh oh no I did show most of the things that I got in Devon in my Devon vlog I think so when we went to Devon it was at the very beginning um of august into kind of the second week i'm just going to show you these two things because i feel like they're kind of more what people will be wanting to see this is a sarah francis washi tape i've already been using it and it's absolutely adorable i got this from gazebo which is a gifty shop i can't get this open now um which is a gift type shop from uh in totnes 
and this one's really cute it's like different forest animals and i just thought it was absolutely gorgeous I'm not sure if that's going to focus there we go so it's really pretty and yeah i've been using it a lot already and you get 10 meters so that's the same amount that you get with the mt washi tapes the really good quality ones and this works exactly the same it's brilliant the other thing that i got which i had no idea about were these Nina Stadner um, tattoos and I had never uh, even heard of you know Nina Stadner doing these and I don't use these as temporary tattoos I used to um, wear them when I was little actually a, a few of them you know if we got them at um, parties and things like that but I actually use these as transfers like you would just um, an ordinary transfer um, that you would traditionally rub with pencil onto the back and then it would transfer over but with these I do the exact same thing except I just rub the water on the back of it and then they transfer over and these are absolutely adorable and I could not pass it up because this is the only thing that I have that's by Nina Stagner and uh, she has had a lot of requests I think including myself to bring her colouring book back when her shop opens and I'm really really hoping she does whether that's a pdf or the actual book um, but for now this is all that I have and I've already started using them it comes with two sheets of exactly the same thing which I'm very happy about because it means that I have doubles of the gorgeous animals and I did message her um, in response to what she was saying about her shop and I also mentioned that I had purchased these and yeah she was uh, really happy about that that I found them so they are amazing um, I then purchased two books myself we have uh, the Shadowscapes colouring book. I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, Llewellyn's Shadowscapes colouring book. This is by Stephanie Puman Law. And I was inspired by Rainbow's End on Instagram to get this book because I had seen him do so many lovely renditions of the pages. There was one in particular, uh, which is at the front somewhere. Um, there are flip throughs of this on YouTube as well, if you're interested. I can't find it now. Here we go. This one. That was absolutely gorgeous. And there are a couple actually with kind of pianos embedded into trees. And I think that's going to be the first one that I do. There are a couple. Here we go. This one. Uh, because I play piano and there's a girl playing the piano there. But I'm not sure. I mean, I really like the sketchy style. It kind of reminds me a bit of Kirby Roseanne's um, with the line art being quite thin. So... It might be my first page, it might not, I'm not sure. But this is not on Create Space paper, but it's it's definitely thicker and a better quality. It's not quite as textured, um, but it's one-sided as well, so you can use marker, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. And I just got that on Amazon, and I mean, it's, it's very thick. You're getting loads of illustrations in there, over 60, it says. So, very excited to hopefully work in that before the end of the year um because obviously we don't really have that much longer left it's gone so quickly it's crazy and then the final thing that i purchased myself was a second copy of the flower year by Layla dooley now the, my first copy i must have got i want to say three years ago because i colored my first page in this oh let me find it for you following Katrine from Always Colouring, her tutorial. And I coloured that in 2018 and then I left it for at least a year until I started colouring it again when I started my channel. So I think the next one that I did was this one and that was after I got my whole binds. So that was almost over two years ago, sorry. And since then, I mean, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I was working through it slowly you know filling up the pages and i've talked about this at, at length in my coloring book collection videos which will be coming out um later this month um yeah there are just certain pages and you know ways that i color that have changed a lot even in the last year and i would just really like the opportunity to color these pages again <laughs> and the books falling apart as well which you know it's not ideal to color in when the pages are, and the actual binding of the book isn't great um it's actually pulling away here which is such a shame and uh, i've had to put tape on it and all sorts of things but obviously i'm still going to keep this because it reminds me of those 
you know all those times that I was coloring it but I feel like my coloring has definitely changed and in the cases of some of these pages it's definitely improved as well um, I've changed my technique of leaves a lot so I don't really leave the edges white I always try to color them so I will let you know how I do I, I really want to color either the periwinkle and wren page first or the title page again first um so we'll see i'm not sure but this is exactly the same copy there was the option on um amazon to get the us or the uk i got the us by default i think last time i purchased it um, obviously the covers are slightly different colour, this is much more of a brighter pink, but the paper quality is exactly the same, I think, um, and I mean it's gorgeous, it still has the um, bookmark, and it still has the lovely green, so it's an absolutely gorgeous book, and I'm looking forward to trying out some of these pages again, and just taking my time with them more. And not rushing them because I really do feel like I rushed quite a lot of the pages because I was trying to do three or four pictures out of it a month and when I had the time of course I could do that but now I don't have the time so it's very much just doing what uh, I have time for and taking my time with the pages that I do start so that's the flower year and then very kindly the rest of the things in the video are things that I have been given um so the first thing oh, was minor riser de europa by rita berman um i was sent this for review which was so generous of her and <clears throat> i did a flip through on my channel i've done a fast flip through and a talky uh, flip through as well um if you haven't already seen the book i'd very much recommend getting it it's absolutely gorgeous it's probably my favorite book of hers which is hard to say because i really do like um zoolander but yeah this is this is my favorite um this is the page that i've started this is part of the london section and it's just absolutely beautiful if you want to see it in more depth as i said um you can find my fit through on my channel it's one of my recent videos and this page has been taking me a while i think i started it pretty much as soon as i got the book which was the 20 something of uh august i think it might have been the 23rd it's now the 2nd of september i'm yeah i'm pretty sure i've been working on it for over yeah almost two weeks almost and yeah i'm just taking my time with it really like it um i've explained in my completed pages a bit more about the technique that i've been doing with the background and what i've used so i'm hoping to finish this one by the end of september and just keep working in this because it's absolutely gorgeous. I am not sure yet whether I'll colour the opposing page alongside it. It would kind of make sense because I've already got the colours pulled out for the leaves. So I might actually do that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, it goes through about seven different countries. And I love it. Absolutely love it. And there's also a... Um, test the page which has been something that's new actually in this book by Rita so these are all her other books if you haven't already seen them and it's just amazing I love it okay I then have uh, a few things from the lovely Sue who is so supportive and generous um, and as I've said to her it, it really does mean a lot and I'm so excited to try these things out. Well, actually, I have already been trying um, some things out in um, what I'm going to show you in a minute. So the first thing is the Colouring Book of Cards and Envelopes um, by Rebecca Jones. And this is the um, the Christmas book I, I have shown in my colouring book collection. The other books that I have in this series, we go to National Trust Properties quite a lot here. So um, they're usually in the shops and i actually got the other ones ages ago this one i'm really excited to do hopefully some for people for christmas i was testing out 
some Posca pens here. I don't know how people do it without the streaking because I did get a little bit of streaking, but it was fun to try them out. Um, I probably won't gift this one to anyone, but it was fun testing out the technique. Um, so I, what I'll probably do with pictures that I, or cards, sorry, that I do for other people is just do pencil or maybe a marker background and then pencil over the marker will be through yeah, maybe just pencil, but I have my Shimmery Jane Davenport uh, pastels, which would come in handy. So if you haven't seen these before, you get the cards which you pull out, the envelopes which you pull out, and then you fold up. And then you get the stickers at the back as well. I believe Colour with Claire's done a flip through of this, um, if you're interested in seeing. But they're absolutely gorgeous. I keep saying everything is absolutely gorgeous, but it is. Um, and then also from Sue was the Mythographic uh, Colour and Discover Paradise by Fabiana Atanasio. Um, I haven't coloured anything in here yet. It's probably going to be um, coloured in after Frozen Fantasies, which is the one I'm going to show you next. Although I might start working on two pages at once in those books. I've just finished one in Dream Garden, so... I want to colour in one of my new mythographic books next. Um, so this one is one of Fabiana's older books. It's not a new one. Dream Garden is her newest. Um, but it's lovely. I've seen so many people working in this. I really like this one. So there are, um, if you don't really like the hidden objects there are more hidden objects in fabiana's books compared to joseph Kattenbangs. as i've said before they don't really bother me if i feel they don't go with the picture i just wipe them out and that works fine so yeah i can't wait to work in this one and then also from sue she had a uh, friend who tried out coloring and she didn't really enjoy doing it so uh sue sent me some of the supplies that her friend sent her um which was so kind and i'm going to share them with you now so um i've already been testing them out and these are the jewel brush pens 120 set i don't know where sue's friend got these from i'm assuming amazon but i don't have links for these but anything that you find they're going to be pretty similar to this. If you search up 120 jewel brush pens, it will be a similar sort of set. So I've already tested these out on a uh, Rita Berman PDF. I used exclusively these and the next product I'm going to show you. Um, so you can find that on my computer pages. Now this, um, obviously they're in a case, which is fantastic. You get a cute colouring book as well with it. I have swatched all of these out because it's so much easier, especially because they don't have names or numbers, so I just keep them in the same order, um, and that way it makes it a lot easier to find them. Uh, they also come with some replacement nibs, which is very handy, because if for any reason, you know, there are nibs that don't quite work as well, maybe they've frayed a bit, you can replace them very easily. So these fold out like this and you get a wide variety of colours. The thing I love about this set is that there are a lot of muted tones, like this sage grey sort of colour. There's some really nice muted tones over here. A good array of colours if you wanted to try out skin. I mean, they are water-based, so I'm not sure how well they'd layer up and work for... Um, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, the only other thing I did do, so with the Rita Berman PDF, I did straight colouring with these and tried blending, which worked well. But I also have watered them down by putting them on, on a palette and then activating them with water in the Forest Girl colouring book, which also worked really well. So that's in my computer pages too. And skin did work because the colours were more muted. I could let them dry. It was just like using watercolour. So these are very versatile. You can use them in many ways. You could put the tips uh, together and create a blending effect. So they're brilliant. And they're pretty much Tombows. I mean, I have a few Tombows. And, you know, they're like 350 each. And these work just as well. So I don't think I'll really be needing to get any more Tombows anytime soon. Because these are fantastic. They're equally as good um and then the other product were these gel pens now these are by shuttle art so i'm assuming that if you search up shuttle art 60 gel pens these ones should come up maybe the um brush pens are shuttle art i'm not sure 
Um, so you get 60 with 60 refills, as I've said. The refills come in it and you get glitters, classics, more glitters over here, pastels, neons and then the metallics. I've just used so far the neons and the pastels on the uh, Rita Berman PDF that I was um, just mentioning. I do have some glitter gel pens uh, by Tanmit. Um, which I really like and these are very similar and there are some colours in this set that are unique. I haven't swatched them out onto a bit of paper but I have been testing them out um, in comparison to the tan mitt gel pens but you know unusual colours like the maroon I mean that's gorgeous and this darker purple and things like that it's gorgeous. You also do get a glitter white and this is similar to the um do I have it here? do you have it yes the um jelly roll stardust so if you don't want to well obviously you'd have to buy the whole set to get this but um if you want to try something similar out this is probably the, the closest thing although it is a little bit more white that uh, the stardust is a bit more silver and i actually really like the white effect you do get a glitter silver though which is kind of similar and yeah as i said these are really nice the pastel ones are quite similar to neons they look the same um except they're just not quite as um in your face but i actually really like the neons and they work well on the pdf so yeah i'm excited to use these more as well i think it will be interesting to see how i can incorporate them into my pictures Okay, so the next thing I have to share with you is Mythographic Frozen Fantasies by Fabian Ashnaldi as well. Um, my brother Tom, when I got my GCSE results, um, wanted to get me something. And at the time, this was £5 on Amazon, I think. And I wasn't expecting him to spend that if he didn't want to. Um, but he very generously got it for me. And I do have a page picked out. So I may start this in here before... Um, mythographic paradise let me show you this one so what i'm planning on doing is making it look like uh, lyra and i can't remember the bear's name from um the northern lights series uh but i know it's not called that the philip pullman series um which was on tv so what i'm planning on doing is using the colors um that and then i'm probably going to put a lot of white gel pen on this anyway because there's icicles um and snow and stuff and water so i'm looking forward to doing this and also there's flowers as well so that will add a bit of interest with um regards to color there will probably be a few hidden objects that i take out just because they don't really make sense like this hook here the piece of cake i'll probably take out the video recorder the paintbrush will be easy to take out, um, the milk, probably all of them, um, to be honest, but, um, oh, and the, the telephone there, but they weren't that hard to take out last time, um, so I'll see how I go with that, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to colouring this, and also because polar bears are my favourite animal, I kind of want to do this one first, it was either going to be that one, or the reindeer, I thought because we're not quite you know into November where I feel like that's when I can start doing Christmas pictures um I'll do something more wintry instead so this one is going to be really really cute to do I may start it in September but I probably won't finish it I then have um a couple of things that aren't directly linked to coloring but I thought would be interesting to share with you anyway so um, I was very kindly given some money from my Uncle Jim and Auntie Lynn uh, to say kind of well done for GCSEs, um, you know, good luck for college, all of that. And I have it actually in my savers account. Um, so not not my uh, current account where my piano money gets paid into. It's the, it's the other one that I don't use. Um, so I've got it there. And then as and when I buy things, I then just transfer the money. So this is... Um, actually gifted from them that i chose it you know i purchased it with their money this is a rifle paper planner and 
I have wanted one of these for a long time but they are expensive and I actually managed to find this I want to say it was paper story somewhere like like that um because uh rival paper is an American brand and in the shops here in the UK we do have quite a lot of rival paper things but not every shop stocks everything and I've never seen these actually in the shops before so yeah they, they are expensive but they're gorgeous and worth it and this is not only great because it starts from august um now but it also runs until december 2020 uh 2022 so it actually is a 17 month planner so it's great because it's academic so it'll start from september for me and last over a year so um it's very pretty i um you know putting things like what i'm up to and you know various things like when i'm planning on putting videos up and that sort of thing so you get all of the monthly overviews and then you also get all of the different months so each uh, weekday gets two lots of space which i really appreciate because this format works because i've got enough space to write things um that i'm doing or you know need to do and saturday and sunday um you know they're a bit smaller just because you know for me if i'm not doing things like clubs and stuff like that i don't need as much space so that's pretty much how the format goes and you get all of the different tabs for them as well and yeah it's just brilliant i love it and then at the back you get a note section you also get stickers. I do have a few rifle paper stickers. But these ones are lovely and I've been using them already. And then you also get a really nice folder. Um, and I love the fact that it's spiral bound because that's most handy for me. So I will be taking this to college with me. I'll be keeping it here when I don't need it. Uh, and yeah, I really do love it. It's gorgeous. There are about four different designs you can get. Um, but it's not too big. I mean, it's fairly big. Let me show you compared to the mythographic um, book. So this is the standard size that Edgeranna Bassford book. So yeah, it's it's a great compact size. It's got everything I need in it, and I love it. So that's that. And the final thing I have to share with you is um, a reading book actually. So um, I think I mentioned in my Devon vlog, but um, my uncle, aunt, and cousins came to stay in our house for a week, and um whilst we were away and we left them a, a few things and they very kindly left um, me and Tom some uh, things when we got back and um, this is the book that I got so I'm very excited to read this I have a few books that I need to read for college first um, they're books that kind of go along with my set text so they're texts that accompany it so I do need to read those ones um those ones first just to kind of get a bit of context and stuff like that but this is called The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett and it looks really good I will just show you the blurb there if you want to pause it and um, have a read feel free to um, I believe is it in the I don't know if this would be in the teen section or or not or whether it's just in the um, adult section um, when I went on a a reading spot in Bath I think I also mentioned this um I actually crossed over so I got some that were in the teen section and some adult section I mean it doesn't matter for me either way but it does look really good and I'm excited to read that at some point so that's everything that I have to share with you thank you so much all for watching I hope you enjoyed um as always I really appreciate your support and your comments um a quick note as well you may have already seen but my shop is now closed my stationery etsy shop yeah it's now closed until the end of october the date is to be confirmed when i'll reopen but i have some products um going on there for christmas but it's now closed just you know because i'm starting college and i imagine i'll be quite busy so um yeah i hope that's all right but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video take care everyone bye